Let's talk about how this plays out on Future Tracker. The rest of tonight, uh, just a few flurries around, plenty of clouds expected. Our temperature getting close to 20 degrees by tomorrow morning. Uh, through the day tomorrow, I do expect quite a few clouds, although they may try to break slightly as we get into the afternoon. Temperatures keep climbing tomorrow, though, by lunchtime, uh, close to freezing, and will continue to climb in the low to mid 30s tomorrow afternoon. Some spots down south uh, may even see the upper 30s. Before the day wraps up. So, as that precipitation starts to move in, it'll try to start falling as snow, but it hits a lot of dry air at first into tomorrow afternoon. And with the warmer temperatures, may even mix over to some rain showers as we go late evening. It gets colder. In fact, the air temperature close to the ground starts dropping to freezing or just below. And that's why, as we transition over to some warmer air, a little higher off the ground, we're going to be into those pockets of sleet and freezing rain. The snow will continue to lift northward, but the warm air keeps driving in even down on the ground into tomorrow night. This is what has changed with the storm system and with that warmer air trying to push in, may see more rain around, especially south of Youngstown. North of Youngstown up into Trumbull and Mercer counties having a better chance of that glaze of ice or some uh, accumulating snow, uh, but even that looks pretty light. And that wintry mix of sleet, freezing rain and snow, well, it'll transition back over to snow showers by the time we get into early Friday morning as temperatures turn colder uh, through the day on Friday, and we will set up uh, for a much colder weekend. So here's the way it plays out. As far as snowfall goes, it looks like the best chance of accumulating snow would be along and north of Interstate 80, but even as that falls at first, as the rain and freezing rain and sleet moves in, it'll actually squash some of that down. Uh, as far as ice goes, there is a potential out there for some ice accumulation, anywhere from a tenth, possibly up to a quarter of an inch, especially up north, as uh, that warm air doesn't quite make it as far north uh, with this storm system and total precipitation out of this is going to add up well over a half inch expected and that's in snow, sleet, freezing rain and just plain old rain as this sloppy system uh, finally gets out of here on Friday. Tonight down to 20 degrees, mostly cloudy, isolated flurry. Uh, tomorrow the chance is there for a flurry or very isolated snow shower uh, through midday and then that chance of a rain or a snow shower tomorrow afternoon. I don't expect a whole lot through the daylight. It's tomorrow night on into Friday morning. That is going to be the worst part of this storm system and will cause for some tricky travel overnight into the start of your Friday. Then it goes back to snow showers first thing Friday morning and a few flurries into the afternoon. Saturday looks dry most of Sunday too. The chance of snow will sneak in here a Sunday evening into Sunday night. That looks pretty light. Other than that, not a lot of big storm systems to talk about and a very slow warming trend back up toward 40 by the middle of next week.